kitty. I already gave you some. <sighs> okay. Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here. Welcome to a Tea With Me Tuesday. Oh, I am totally, I've had kind of a really exhausted day. I think it's because it was kind of gray out, it wasn't, or if it was sunny out, I don't remember seeing it. I don't know. I'm going to have my cup of tea. It's getting cold. Oh, Kitty's going to photobomb my, is that what you call it? Video bomb? <laughs> my video. He's sitting over there looking at me like, feed me, but I've just fed him. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about today. Maybe just catch you up on a few things. Um, I've been trying a couple of new things. Um, I've been watching videos and trying some new crafts. Yes, baby. Come on. Come on. Up. Up you come. It's okay. Come on. There we go. Yes. You're going to talk to me now. You're going to talk to me. Yeah. Um, I've been doing a few craft things. Sorry if this thing gets in the way, the microphone. I'm trying to, uh, get it to work. <laughs> um, it kind of breaks off and breaks on. So I hope, I hope I don't have to, um, redo my video again. Hi, baby. Yes, my boy. Here, let me put that behind me. And then you'll have more room. Yeah. 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 Oh, what kind of day has it been? It has been, it has been kind of a boring day today. Um, we didn't go out and mom was bored to tears. She was watching TV all day and I know she really was bored and wanted to do something else. Unfortunately, I was exhausted. I didn't feel like doing anything. I didn't feel like getting dressed and going out. And, um, yes, baby. Um, so we just stayed home and I tried to kind of keep her entertained as best I could. Um, when I, um, help mom or get her to do something an hour later I'll ask her well did you enjoy yourself she'll say well we didn't do anything or I didn't do that so it's kind of hard to you know keep mom entertained she's doing well um physically it's mentally of course with her dementia is um you know she's she's doing the best she can and um it's so fun i should videotape it i really should it's so fun when i um make her something for supper she gets so excited and she tells me what a good girl i am and all of this stuff and um i think that is kind of meaning she was hungry <laughs> but anyway Mom is very appreciative of everything I do. I always give her a breakfast and then I give her a snack um, halfway through the morning. Um, then I give her a, a light lunch. I don't give her heavy um, stuff. And then um, she has a light lunch and then I'll give her a snack in the afternoon. Um, and then I'll give her a nice supper and uh, then she goes to bed. And that's pretty much my day. We have lots of laundry to do. I keep putting it off. I keep putting it off. I hate going downstairs. And it's funny, before it never bothered me. I used to love going downstairs. And uh, now it's like, oh, please. I just don't feel like it. But I know I have to. So I keep banging. I hope that's not reflecting on here. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to get things kind of organized behind me there with my little craft area. I'm, um, 
I'm trying to get things organized as well as doing things for Valentine's Day, for St. Patrick's Day. I'm not getting into Easter too, too much. I was watching a video on, um, I think it was I'm Busy Crafting, and she was doing a, um, what did she call it? Cupcake, cupcake stand card. And I tried to recreate it, but not with cupcakes, but um, with, uh, I have, I have a big, I had a big sheet of, um, oh my goodness, um, mermaid underwater stuff, uh, you know, one of those kind of dimensional ones. And I didn't like it, so I threw it out. I mean, I, I followed the instructions, but I just didn't like it. I, you know, sometimes when you do things, you just don't like it. You don't, I mean, you don't even have that um, feeling or motivation to even do it again or do it better or recreate it. So that was one that I did. What was the other thing? Um, I'm trying to think of what was the other thing that I tried to recreate. Oh, it'll come to me eventually. I mean, it was only the other day. Um, so I've been playing around with some different crafts and things like that and, you know, trying to pass the time. Oh, excuse me. Oh. I've been uh, playing games on my computer to pass the time. I've been um, <sighs> trying to <sighs> I don't know why I feel lightheaded. I don't know whether it's my glasses. Sometimes they affect me that way. Sometimes it's um, when I'm working for a long time on my computer or on my desk doing crafts, I get a real bad kink in my neck. So I got to take a break and, you know, do some exercises trying to, trying to feel better. And um, it doesn't always work. I spent so much time working on something the other, oh, my leprechaun hat. I spent so much time on that that I got the weirdest pain. Now, I don't know if my chair is too low or if it's too high. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what what the reasoning or just, I don't know. I'm just getting old. I'm just getting old. I'm starting to feel my age. I got a big birthday coming up in April and I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to feel it. And I was laying in bed. Sorry, I got an itch. I was laying in bed um, two nights ago. Two or three nights ago, I was laying in bed. And I was thinking, what would my life have been like at this point if I didn't have mom to look after? If mom was in her own apartment with her partner and she was okay at this point in my life. What would I be doing? And um, how would my life have been different? And not that I'm wishing it. I, I was just wondering if I didn't have, if I didn't have to look after mom, if I didn't have that, that responsibility and I had been living alone for so many years and I had done volunteer work and I was helping my girlfriend do with her cleaning business and um, going to the bingo, going to the casino, working at the bingo. Um, and I kind of wondered, you know, what would my life be like? Would I, um, would I be doing things I used to do? And I kind of wondered about that. And then COVID, 
what would my life have been like during COVID if I didn't have mom to look after? And I, I thought about that and I really couldn't come up with uh, a good scenario because, you know, that means I would have wiped out all the fun times and the stressful times, of course, with mom. And uh, I learned a lot and I grew a lot as a person looking after mom. Yes, there's a lot of worry. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of personal care that um, I never expected to do um, for my mother. And I thought about, you know, all the, all the times uh, when I was younger, when I used to get angry with my mother because she would never, she never, if I came up with an idea for a moment, I've spoken about this before, when I was young and in my 20s, if I had said I want to be an engineer or I want to be a pilot or something, mom would always play it down like, you know, I don't know if you're really smart enough or I don't know, well, she wouldn't say that. Um, don't you think you'd want a husband and a family kind of thing? She was... You know, she, she didn't discourage me, but she certainly, you know, deflated my, uh, my balloon. And uh, I remember being angry with her for so many years. And like I, I've, I've, I've spoken about this um, in one of my videos. I think it's on my playlist, um, Elder Care or something. Um, whatever the playlist is, I forget. Um, I spoke about loving, learning to love my mom again. And I couldn't imagine, now I look back and I can't remember being angry with her. And I think it's because I know my mom so well now. I've gotten to know her as a person and her weaknesses, her unfortunate upbringing. You know, during the 30s, she was born 1930. Her parents were very poor. Uh, her father uh, liked to drink, and he was abusive to, to his wife, my mom's mom, where she actually had to leave. But the kids never really had a life, you know. So um, I'm, I look at mom from kind of that point of view. And now in her, after all she had been through in all of her life, I think she deserves to have someone to love her, to care for her, to make sure she's okay, to make sure she's happy. Whether it be me or someone else, mom deserves that. And I think, you know, as we all reach the ripe old age of 90, I think, well, 80s, I think we all deserve to be loved. I think we all deserve to be forgiven for our shortcomings when we were young, raising our kids. We all had guilt raising our kids, saying things we shouldn't have, maybe fighting and arguing. And by the time you reach our age, I think it's time to forgive ourselves. I think it's time to forgive our parents. It's time to let it go, let it go. And I know it's hard. And I, I, I cannot speak from, um, from a point of view of an abusive family. Um, that's something you need to work out differently. I'm talking about sort of the normal, what we sort of call normal life, where you are kids, you, you, know, you have your Christmas, your mother and father get along, they work for a living, they raise you, you get married, have children, you raise them, you know, uh, to the best of your ability. But I'm not talking about abusive. I, I, I know some of you have been uh, raised in abusive uh, homes, um, very dysfunctional homes, and, and, and I pray for you. I mean, 
my heart goes out to you because I was very lucky. I didn't have that. And yet, and yet, those of us who were not raised in an abusive, not knowing what it was like for our friends or neighbors to be raised in an abusive home, we still get angry at our parents. We still feel um, short change somehow. Then we have our children and then we realize it, so many things and and we just you know need to I think let the guilt go by the time we reach this age what's the point we can't change it you can't change you know I have I have guilt about so many things you know um, sometimes I think why didn't I try harder with my children's father? Why didn't I demand more? Didn't I love myself enough? Or maybe I didn't think he loved me enough and felt sorry for myself. I don't know. You know, I mean, I was young. I don't remember. Uh, but I was very stubborn and didn't want... I didn't know enough. I wasn't guided enough because my parents didn't know enough. Um, Today, the kids know so much more on raising children and the psychology behind it. And I sometimes think I shortchanged my kids, so I feel guilty about raising them alone. But on the other hand, I hope they see me as a strong single mom who did the best she could, who worked to support them, to give them a good life, as best I could and to you know to do the best I could you know and I think it's time for us to kind of forgive ourselves once we reach a certain age it's time to let it go let it go and um, I hope I've done that I hope I have occasionally there's a little twinge of guilt that comes up. It may be something that I'm reminiscing. It may be something that triggers a memory. There's, you know, whatever that may be. Um, it's something sometimes. And then I have to sort of sit back and be grateful for where I am, for what I have, and, you know, that I have a pretty good life and that I need not be selfish in in allowing myself because I think um, when we start feeling guilty and we feel upset or shortchanged I think we're becoming a little bit you know too self-centered for that but anyway that's not what I wanted to talk about I was just going to talk about you know my my crafting my plans my flowers I'm getting flowers all over the place mom loves it mom loves the decorating and um, come Valentine's Day, I'll have all kinds of hearts and things. Uh, maybe a little heart-shaped chocolate uh, box for her and a little card. And uh, she likes that. I think she likes that whole, when I buy flowers and bring them home, she loves it. She loves it. And I just want mom to be happy. I mean, like I say, you know, her memory is very short. Her short-term memory is very short. So she'll be surprised. Now I could take these out of here for half the day and bring them in and she'll be surprised like I just got them, which is kind of fun because uh, she can enjoy them twice as much. Anyway, guys, that's enough for today. I just wanted to ramble, check in with you. And then I start going off and I start thinking about things um, but nothing planned today. Just thought I'd come on and uh, do another Tea With Me Tuesday. I think that uh, one or two a month is about all I'm going to do because I am so busy doing some other things right now. And I've got some videotaping to do with um, doing my planting, with my gardening, and all that stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today. Forgive me for... Uh, uh, going off because I do tend to do that, but it's just 
It's just a chatting day. It's just a tea with me Tuesday. And I'll be so glad when we can get rid of this virus and all of its variants and start to breathe again. I'm wishing you all the best. God bless. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.